In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to make an array of images. And this array of images is uh, going to be used in the draw method to, to quickly draw the sequence of images for the sprite's motion uh, for a specific, or the sprite's a specific motion pattern of the sprite that we're making. So what I need to do is I need to go up to the very top and declare an array of texture 2D file uh, images. So I'm going to say texture 2D open close square brackets that signifies an array and I'm going to call it monster textures and now I'm going to scroll down to uh, the load content method and I'm going to say um, I'm gonna make eight statements well first I need to declare or create the object so I'm gonna say mo monster textures equals new texture 2d and now for the size you count how many images you have so I have images between 0 and 7 for him running to the east. So that means I have 8 altogether because of course 0 is one of them and 7 is the last one. So I made my array of 8 texture 2D images and now I'm going to assign images to each element of the array. So I'm going to have 8 statements and with each statement I'm going to reference a different element in the array. So I'm going to say monster texture 0 equals and now is where I reference the file that I imported into um, my project. So I'm going to say this dot content dot load angle bracket and you have to be very careful about this because it's very fussy and then in parentheses I put the name of the file in quotation marks. Okay, so if you look at Solution Explorer, and let me reposition it so you can see it, uh, you'll see your files. Now, you need to put that file name in quotation marks inside those parentheses. So the file names are pretty long, so the best way to make sure you don't make a typo, since auto the auto-suggest is not going to work, is to go over to Solution Explorer, right-click on one of the files, do select the rename option then right click it again and do copy now go back to uh, your code and in quotation marks you're going to put that name you're gonna paste okay now notice you don't use the extension here all you do is put the name it does not have PNG dot PNG you just want the name okay so now I'm going to copy and paste this uh, let's see, seven times. And then after I do that, so that I, well, I'm copying and pasting, so I have a total of eight of them. Okay, and now I can just go through and change the indices. So if you look at the names uh, in Solution Explorer, they are E0001, E0002, and, and so on. And I want to match up those numbers with the position in the array. Oops. No. Eh. Six and seven. All right. That'll do it, and let me just fix my...